Hello, everyone. My name is Ting Jun Chen, and today I'm here to present our challenge paper, Cosmos, a city scale programmable testbed for experimentation with advanced wireless. Cosmos is a joint project between Rutgers, Columbia, NYU, along with several partners, including New York City, IBM, Silicon Harlem, the City College of New York, and the University of Arizona. On the right hand side, you can see a picture we took at Columbia looking north into West Harlem in New York City. If we abstract this figure into the infographic shown on the left hand side, we all firmly believe that wireless networks and systems of different types have been serving as the very important infrastructure of our daily lives, supporting digital communications, environmental monitoring, transportation systems, and many other services and applications. <laughs> our objective here is to design, prototype, and evaluate technologies for the wireless edge to enable novel modes of interactions between city residents and the urban environment. In particular, we focus on emerging technologies, including millimeter wave communications, multi-antenna systems, and photoplex wireless, and to study their convergence with the underlying optical axon networks and the edge cloud. Many of these applications have been studied in isolation, theoretically or in a lab setting. The Cosmos project aims to build and deploy a playground for researchers to explore and experiment with the technology's sweet spot of ultra high bandwidth, low latency, and powerful edge computing. For future wireless networks and systems, not only bandwidth, but also latency and compute power are two important dimensions and metrics. Edge cloud and computing can also enable real-time applications by putting the processing to closer to the users. Our objective here of the Cosmos testbed is to develop and deploy an open access, remotely accessible advanced wireless testbed that supports real-world investigation of urban environments with ultra-high bandwidth at gigabits per second, low latency, at five milliseconds or less, coupled with very powerful edge computing. And all these capabilities are enabled by Cosmos programmable infrastructure, including tens of millimeter wave radios, tens of miles of dark fiber in Manhattan, and beyond 5G edge cloud base stations. Using this infrastructure, researchers can study the convergence and challenges of high speed wireless access, edge cloud and networking, as well as optical X hole for la low latency which can then further enable a broad new class of real-time applications, such as augmented reality, autonomous vehicles, and smart intersections. <laughs> the Cosmos project is supported by the National Science Foundation Platforms for Advanced Wireless Research Program, which currently includes three city-scale testbed. There are also a number of wireless testbed around the world, and some of their names are listed here. In this presentation, We'll focus on the challenges we faced and partial experiences we gained during the design, development, and deployment of the city scale programmable Cosmos testbed. We'll dive into Cosmos key technologies, including software defined radios, programmable millimeter wave radios, a flexible optical transport network, and software defined networking and edge cloud. We'll then briefly overview a, a few Cosmos pilot experiments, which we developed to help drive and validate the testbed design and architecture. We'll also talk about our education and outreach efforts. On our website, you can actually find several videos overviewing and describing different aspects of the testbed. Many of you might have used or are familiar with the Orbit testbed in Wing Lab at Rutgers University, which is an indoor testbed with hundreds of nodes equipped with various wireless technologies. The objective of Cosmos is to develop the beyond 5G version of Orbit, take it outside, and to deploy an open access, remotely accessible, and programmable advanced wireless testbed at city scale with cutting edge hardware and software components. <laughs> so what does city scale really mean? The, the figure on the right hand side shows the envisioned deployment map of Cosmos in a dense urban area of about one square mile in West Harlem, New York City which can, you can also see from my virtual background, which covers about 15 city blocks and five city avenues. <laughs> there are three types of Cosmos nodes with different form factors for different deployment scenarios. There will be about nine large nodes, which are base station type of nodes deployed on rooftops for macro coverage. 
there will be about 40 million nodes, which are small cell type of nodes deployed on building sites or on street light posts. Finally, there will be about 200 small nodes, which are user type of nodes that are portable and can be carried around by users or vehicles. <clears throat> Deploying such a large scale testbed in a real dense urban setting is extremely challenging and requires significant collaborative efforts on planning and coordination, which also involves multiple organizations and stakeholders. Cosmos is deployed using a phased approach and the pilot phase was completed in May 2019, which we'll describe in the next few slides. In September 2019, the Federal Communications Commission designated test, the testbed area as one of the nation's first two innovation zones, therefore making wireless experiments in this area easier and more accessible. The testbed was also designated general available in June 2020, and we're currently in the phase one deployment. The blue lines here in the figure show different fiber connections within the testbed area and between the Cosmos testbed and other sites. Although these fiber connections look like a tree topology, we implemented an SDN controller to support reconfigurable optical network topology using space switching and wavelength switching technologies. Here we show the detailed Envision deployment map of Cosmos in West Harlem. In the center figure, different colors represent buildings and assets owned by different entities, including Columbia University in yellow, City College of New York in light blue, and New York City, where several Cosmos nodes will be deployed. The colored lines here represent the dark fiber-based optical network as part of the testbed infrastructure, which provide high-speed connections between different Cosmos nodes, the co-location site in downtown Manhattan, and the core optical switching complex located in the Columbia Data Center, as indicated by the gray cube at the bottom. During the pilot phase, we have deployed two large nodes, three median nodes, and several small nodes. We've also deployed two sandboxes at Rutgers and Columbia for experiments in controlled environments. The ongoing phase one deployment, built on the experiences we gained from the pilot phase, focuses on the City College campus and the Amsterdam Avenue corridor. The fiber connections between different sites finished in the pilot phase was challenging as getting dark fiber in Manhattan involves interactions with several city agencies. You can also see the deployed Sandbox 2, as well as the core optical switching complex and compute resources at Columbia University. Our pilot large node was deployed on the 18th floor rooftop of the Columbia Mud Building, which has three sectors providing coverage in different areas. Each sector has directional antennas and a GPS antenna installed outdoor, which are connected to the RF front end and software defined radios, which are housed in an indoor enclosure. Two pilot medium nodes were also deployed on the first and second floor of the same building and are equipped with omnidirectional antennas. Similar to each large node sector, the software-defined radios are connected to the Columbia Data Center and Edge servers via high-speed optical fiber links. Each media node also has a camera, which can be used for video analytics and smart city intersection type of applications. In order to allow researchers to experiment with the testbed full potentials, including high bandwidth, low latency, and powerful edge computing, we designed and built Cosmos as a multi-layered computing, ar computing architecture, as you can see here in the figure on the right-hand side, with full programmability from the hardware layer up to the edge and central cloud. Key technologies of Cosmos include a large number of state-of-the-art software-defined radios, programmable millimeter wave phased array antenna modules, a flexible underlying optical transport network, software-defined networking and cloud, and a sophisticated management and software uh, which was built based on the orbit management framework for uh, coordinating testbed resources and providing monitoring at 24 seven. Different paths here in the figure represent possible data routes or data paths supported by the testbed, where data processing can happen at different distances or at different stages away from where the data was generated. We've also developed and conducted, conducted several pilot experiments to help drive and validate the testbed design architecture if you're interested in learning more about how to use the testbed and the different experiments across the wireless, wired, and optical domains, please join us on the Cosmos tutorial on Friday. 
Now I'm going to go into some of these key technologies in the next few slides. The first key technology is software-defined radio nodes, which offer full flexibility of spectrum use in sub-6 gigahertz frequencies. A subset of the software-defined radio nodes are also equipped with 28 or 60 gigahertz millimeter wave capabilities. The figure here shows a general block diagram of a software-defined radio nodes that we developed, where different node configurations will include a subset of the components such as USRP software-defined radios, the Zinc RF SOC platform, as well as various RF and millimeter wave front ends. Using this design, radio signal processing can be separated between the radio nodes and the edge cloud. Here are some examples of software-defined radio nodes we deployed in different form factors, including the rooftop large node sectors, the building side or light pole mounted medium nodes, and the small mobile nodes. The second key technology is a family of millimeter wave radios, and one main component is the IBM 28 gigahertz phased array antenna module, which features four 16 element beam forming ICs, and support up to eight simultaneous beams in both horizontal and vertical polarizations. These are unique capabilities that can enable various adaptive beam forming and beam tracking experiments. We have integrated two beta version phased array antenna modules in Sandbox 2 and explored different baseband solutions, including the USRP software defined radios and the Zinc RF SOC platform to achieve a real time bandwidth of several hundreds of megahertz. We also have the Facebook telegraph radios, which operate at 60 gigahertz. In addition, we have deployed several other millimeter wave radio systems in Sandbox 1, which include the Sievers IMA 60 gigahertz radios with the Zinc RF SOC platform, as well as the Edge Link and 5G new radio platform from Interdigital. The detailed information of all these systems and example tutorials can be found on the Cosmos website. The next key technology is Cosmos Optical Transport Network. On this slide, we show the core optical switching architecture of Cosmos and the corresponding optical switching for large nodes in the bottom inset. In particular, a Kalian 320, 320 by 320 space switch forms the core of Cosmos Optical Network in the Columbia Data Center. Dark fiber pairs connect the central Kalian space switch with smaller 16 by 16 space switches in each of the large nodes. These space switches allow for remote and automated refibering of connections and devices throughout the test bed. Wavelength division multiplexing, or WDM, is provided by the Lumentum white box reconfigurable optical add drop multiplexer units, or RODEM units, which are also connected to the space switches. Other devices um, that are connected or attached to the central space switch include different numbers of top of rack switches, test equipment, and experimental hardware. Using these capabilities, the fiber pairs between any two devices in testbed, for example, between a radio node and an edge server, can be configured uh, for combinations of point-to-point -point passive optical networks and Rodem WDM networks. Another key technology is the core and edge cloud. Here we show the logical topology of Cosmos cloud architecture overlaid on its optical topology with the corresponding aggregated link capacities. The edge cloud computing sites contain three types of computing resources, CPUs, GPUs, and FPGAs, to provide flexible and powerful signal processing capabilities, while also supporting general purpose computing tasks required for different applications. Cosmos SDN framework integrates native and agent-based control of both wired and wireless resources. This allows the SDN experiments to implement application-driven control of optical and data networking functionalities, as well as radio resources. In addition, the SDN framework supports virtualization and allows for logical separation of the same resource into multiple distinct networks with their own topology and routing protocols. This, this cloud infrastructure has also been serving as an open test and integration center during the ORAN North America Blockfest and the proof of concept demonstration. Recently, we were awarded a $3 million project, COSMIC, that will focus on connecting the Cosmos testbed to other international testbeds across different continents. As mentioned earlier, within the Cosmos team, we've developed several pilot experiments to help drive and validate 
the testbed design and architecture. The first pilot experiment is in the area of Photoplex wireless, where we integrated our wideband Photoplex radios, which were presented in last year's Mobicon, in the Cosmos testbed with open access software and hardware. People can now log in remotely from around the world to conduct research in this area. On the right-hand side, we show an example demonstration of a real-time Photoplex link using the integrated open access Photoplex radios, where the data packets, signal spectrum, and other system performance metrics can be visualized in real time. This experiment also demonstrates another key feature of Cosmos, which is to allow the integration of novel and customized experimental hardware in an open access testbed, where the testbed's infrastructure, such as the radio nodes and edge cloud servers, can be leveraged for different types of experiments. In another pilot experiment, we focused on converged optical wireless networking using Cosmos Optical Network. In particular, the wideband photoplex radios mentioned earlier was also integrated with Cosmos dark fiber-based optical X-hole network. In particular, the RF self-interference cancellation happens locally at the node in the RF domain, while the digital signal processing and digital signal cancellation, digital self-interference cancellation, takes place in a remote server that is about 14 miles away from the radio node. Recall that Cosmos also enables reconfiguration of the underlying optical network so that users can generate various network topologies considering different bandwidth and latency requirements. We also expanded this experiment to an SDN-based dynamic optical switching of front hole fiber links. This is motivated by the rapidly growing cloud radio access networks where baseband processing units will be moved to a centralized location to allow sharing of computing resources among multiple remote radio heads. We developed the scheme and optical control algorithms to efficiently control the optical front hole network for remote baseband processing. The deployment of autonom autonomous vehicles in complex dense urban settings present unique challenges as well, and smart city intersections will be at the core of intelligent traffic management system for metropolitan areas. The Cosmos testbed provides all components needed for developing smart intersections and for supporting cloud-connected vehicles. This smart city pilot experiment involves the cameras and edge cloud servers deployed in the Cosmos testbed. In particular, we developed customized deep learning algorithms to create a radar screen movie which tracks all of the objects in the intersection the algorithms are capable of detecting objects of notably different sizes observed from the bird's eye view, as illustrated in these video clips. On the education and outreach side, we developed the Cosmos Education Toolkit, which is a small version of a Cosmos node. We worked very closely with the 27 high school teacher participants over the past three summers on creating over 100 K-12 education labs in math, science, and computer science. These labs have been used in different high schools and numerous education and outreach activities. In summary, in this paper, we present the challenges we faced and experiences we gained during the design, development, and deployment of the city scale Cosmos testbed. Cosmos features a number of unique capabilities, including programmable radio technologies in both sub six gigahertz and millimeter wave frequencies, a dark fiber-based programmable optical transport network, as well as core and edge cloud. All these capabilities can enable a wide range of research and experiments at scale in a real dense urban environment, which can then further enable emerging applications such as augmented reality, autonomous vehicles, and smart intersections. We'd like to acknowledge the National Science Foundation and the Platforms for Advanced Wireless Research Program. We also want to thank many, many people for their numerous important contributions and support to the testbed. So some upcoming events are as follows. In this week at Mobicom 2020, we're hosting a Cosmos tutorial on Friday. We also have a paper at the WinTech workshop and a demo in the Mobicom demo session. So this will take place on Friday and on Wednesday. Researchers in the United States and in Europe can request for supplemental funding to conduct experiments in the Cosmos testbed through the National Science Foundation and the NGI Atlantic Open Course, respectively. Lastly, 
the second workshop, the second Cosmos Research Community Workshop is taking place on October the 14th to 15th. If you are interested in learning more about the Cosmos testbed and the, the tutorials, please register through the link or the barcode, and we look forward to your participation. With that, we'd like to conclude the presentation and thank you very much for your attention. And please check out our website or contact us if you have any questions about Cosmos project.